Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits, with a very special guest today. This is Astrid. Yes! Yes! Astrid, the maiden of malt. She's not going to try any beer today. She's just hanging out with me. Yes, she's hanging out because her twin sister is hanging out with her mom. And uh, they're hanging out watching TV. But we're going to hang out, and you're going to watch Dad drink beer. Yes! She's very envious of the beers I just poured. I mean, look at them. Look at these, babe. Wow. All for daddy. <laughs> um, so, um, Astrid has never had beer, of course. Actually, no, I think maybe my uh, father-in-law dipped his finger in one of his beers and was like, <sniffs> so she's had a little bit. But she's only seven months old. So, very, very young girl. And uh, one of the new crew members of the cast, or of the clan. Um, so we're trying two beers today that I brought back with me from my trip to Bamberg and Franconia. And these are from a brewery that I was told that I need to check out for Weissbier. And this is from Brauerei Gutmann in Titting. And uh, this is their Helles, their Light Hefeweizen, and their Weizenbock, uh, the light version. And they also make a dark one. But these were the ones I could get. We were in a Getränkemarkt, a big bottle store for spirits and beer and whatnot and called Aquatron and this was all they had at the moment left from these guys and um, they are a brewery that's famous for Weizen you know Weinstefana you know Schneider you know Ehring I know Palana and whatnot but these guys are apparently yeah it's these guys they're apparently also really well known for their Weizens uh, although I never heard of them so we're starting off with their classic their Hefeweizen they say it's got a classic <laughs> wheat beer aroma uh, with a lot of yeast flavor. It's both, it's both fruity and mild and creamy and harmonic. Serve at seven degrees. Mm. <laughs> so, pour is a very nice looking hazy golden yellow color. I swirled up the yeast in there and poured it in because it was actually looking rather clear before doing this. But now we've got an OG hazy. It's more golden orange in real life. Uh, on camera, it looks really dark and rust orange. But it looks like a Blonde, light-colored bites, and let's check out the aroma. Mmm, smells nice. Smells nice, right? She doesn't even speak English. This must be so confusing. <laughs> but um, yeah, loads of banana. But as with some of the classic ones, it's not just one note. There's loads of like kind of like apricotty vibes too. Biscuity breadiness, sweet wheat bread like brioche, and there's phenolic spice too. I'm also getting a bit of green apple on this one. Oh, you can have some water. Yes, here you go. Yes, it's almost like beer. Um, but yeah, clove, this is like pretty classic Hefeweizen. Are you gonna drop it on the floor? Yeah, you are. Pretty classic Hefeweizen on the nose, um, but it smells really nice. Bready and, and all that. Let's try it, cheers. That's pretty good Hefeweizen. It's not like mind blowing, but it's nice. I think, I don't know how long the shelf lives are on their Hefeweizens, but these are expiring in February and we're January right now. Oh, February and April. So I, I'm guessing it's probably six months. I'd imagine not just three because I think these are a little bit larger brewery. Very nice body for it as well. It's funny with the classic German Weizenbier producers that are not like massive in size. Their Weizens are just hot to beat. They're, they have such layered both yeast character and from, like both esters and phenolics that are really, really nice. Really nice. So it's really fluffy, very full body for the ABV. Lots of banana, but also citrus and citrus pith, like lemon vibes, which could be from hops. Go, go, go. Oh, you're gonna drop it now. <laughs> I knew she would do that. Pick it up, Daddy. Mommy can pick that up. She's uh, the shield maiden behind camera. You're just a maiden. You're not a shield maiden yet. Uh, yeah, 
Um, really nice flavors as well, some floral edges to it as well. Lots of that banana and banana bread, but not like overbearingly sweet. There's definitely some dryness and some spice to cut through. White pepper, clove, maybe a touch of nutmeg. And also a little bit of the apricot, but actually, I think it's more citrus and maybe even candied citrus than it's apricots. So let's jump up here. And I got some info on this one. The Hiller Weizenbock. So stronger, more full-bodied, more aromas, all these things. It basically says the same thing. So 7.2% on the Bock here, Weizenbock. Also wheat malt, barley malt, hops and yeast. Good for the Bock beer festivities, it says. They actually also have food pairings and stuff, which is funny. Good for Christmas. We're past that now. We, I, I, there's going to be a lot of reviews of Bock beer. Do you know why? Because Dad had so much beer to try, yes. So we're trying it now in January instead. But uh, yeah, it looks the same pretty much. Just maybe a touch more orange. And also high carbonation on that one. Also this one for sure. White head, very nice and fluffy when I pour it out. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah, more, oh yeah, more of everything. It really smells like the classic Hefeweizen dialed up a notch. More esters, more kind of sweet. Banana bread, she really wants to try some. <laughs> uh, you're gonna suck on daddy's arm now. <laughs> I just took a zip without talking about aromas because I'm being disturbed by the missus, by the missus here. Um, really nice. More full bodied, more sweet banana bread, but it's also not too sweet. There's a lot of spice and clove, a good amount of dryness. It also has a little bit of like cooked apples. More clove, more like it's it's pretty much more of everything like this one. More kind of breadiness to this one as well, that like brioche, sweeter bread. Oh, we need a towel. Oh, yes, I'm gonna just pat you dry. Oh, yes. <laughs> At least she didn't scream. She, says, she sometimes does that when we wipe her face. Um, Mm. Really good though, full bodied, creamy, lots of the banana, the dryness in there, the spices I talked about, some banana bread, floral edge, a little more of like a sugary bread in this to this one because it's stronger, more almost like banana, uh, grilled banana type vibes or something like that, or caramelized because it's just slightly more sweet. And then it has like citrus vibes and that pepper, black pepper thing. Uh, Maybe more actual apricot in this one. This is a really good Weizen book. But I don't think they're as good as Andex. I still think that's some of the best I've had in recent memory. But it's close. It's, I'd say it's very much on par with the likes of Schneider and Weinstefana. Yeah, they are on par with those. Yeah, I think so. Uh, really high quality Weizens. And like something I think you should check out if you love the style. I think they do have distribution. Mm. And I think their site, you could also uh, turn it into English. So I'm pretty sure that means distribution as well. Um, but my favorite of the two, my favorite of the two, the Weizen book, not the single. Just because it has a bit, a bit more flavor, a bit more of everything. Although the, oh, look at that. Oh, a lot of yeast. Although the, uh, the uh, regular blonde <laughs> Weizen is the one I could session the best. Blah, blah. She's really trying to be a participant in this review. But in terms of a grade, the Hefe Weizen, I think I'm going to go like 92 or something like that. Early 90s, really nice. Uh, think Mein Stefana Schneider quality. And the Weizen book, a little higher. Maybe 93 or 94 even. I, for sure 93. I like. I would like just a little bit more sweetness, but that's just my prefer personal preference. But these are also about balance. Some bites do get towards the sweet side. The Andex are a little bit sweet, and that's what I like. These are great balancing both dryness and sweetness, leading a little bit to the drier side. So if that's more for you, then these are for you. And then let's get you on camera properly. Full body cam. Astrid, the maiden of malt. Oh. 
Can you look into the camera and not mommy? Yes. We say, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram, and uh, click the bell for future notifications about videos if you want to check out more of the Master of Beer reviews. Asteroid will probably be in more videos, maybe even Sonya too. Sonya Blade. Uh, oh, she's going to fly in from the side. Oh, hello. No! She drooled in my beer. <laughs> oh, not just drool. Some of the good stuff. <laughs> Welcome to kids. Yay. But if you guys had them, let me know. And comment, subscribe, all that social media jazz. And I'm going to say cheers in the one without uh, baby drool. And see you guys in another beer review.